a remedy for despair because Elijah had more work to do. Verse 19 and 8. Well, I'm going to start at 5. Verse 5. And as he lay and slept under a juniper tree, behold, then an angel touched him and said unto him, Arise and eat. Verse 6. And he looked, and behold, there was a cake baking on the coals and a cruise of water at his head. And he did eat and drink and laid him down again. Verse 7, And the angel of Yahweh came again the second time and touched him and said, Arise and eat, because the journey is too great for thee. Verse 8, And he arose and did eat and drink and went in the strength of that meat forty days and forty nights unto Horeb, the mount of Yahweh. Verse 9, And he came thither unto a cave and lodged there, and behold, the word of Yahweh came to him, and he said unto him, What does does it? Does it does thou hear Elijah? So, you know, to show you that Most High God provided, he said the angel that sent or fed him with the bread and gave him water and asked him a question. What does thou hear, Elijah? Verse 10. And he said, I have been very jealous for Yahweh, by the power of hosts, for the children of Israel have forsaken thy covenant, thrown down thy altars, and slain thy prophets with the sword. And I, even I, only am left, and they seek my life to take it away. Verse 11, and he said, Go forth and stand upon the mount before Yahweh. And behold, Yahweh passed by, and a great and strong wind rent the mountains and breaking in pieces the rocks before Yahweh. But the Lord was not in the wind, and after the wind, an earthquake, but Yahweh was not in the earthquake. Verse 12, and after the earthquake, a fire, but Yahweh was not in the fire, and after the fire, a still small voice. Verse 13, and it was so when Elijah heard it that he wrapped his face in his mantle and went out and stood in the entering of the cave and behold there came a voice unto him and said what dost thou hear Elijah and he said I have been very jealous for Yahweh by the Shem Yahweh shall power of hosts because the children of Israel have forsaken thy covenant thrown down thy altars and slain thy prophets with the sword and I even I only am left and they seek my life to take it away Yahweh sent messengers from nature, fire, wind, and earthquake to remind Elijah Yahweh was the supreme power. Elijah had more work to do, so he could not despair. Elijah needed a dose of truth. Because in verse 10 it says, And he said, I have been very jealous for Yahweh by the power of hosts, for the children of Israel have forsaken thy covenant, thrown down thy altars, and slain thy prophets with the sword. And I, even I only am left, and they seek my life to take it away. But in verse 18, like I told you, it must have been so bad that he assumed he was the only man still following the most high God Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. But in verse eighteen, the dose of truth he received was Yet I have left me seven thousand of Israel all the knees which have not bowed unto Baal, and every mouth which have not kissed him. So proving that we are all here to do the bidding of Yahweh. No matter if it's because basically even with the whole priest of Baal, the whole contest, that was all the will of Yahweh's too, you know. 
Jezebel, all, all, everybody, even the king Ahab, you know. What's that, Proverbs 16 and 14? 